Hi, everybody. My name is Nicole, and next to me uh, is my colleague Anna from Aarhus University. And uh, we have both written a very nice paper where we introduce the community to a combination of partially square structural equation modeling and machine learning. Anna, you will help me today and um, explain how we can use selected algorithms that we present in the paper in our studio. And my um, understanding is that we first need to tell the system that we have certain libraries that we are going to use. Thank you, Nicole. So well, today we are going to see a very short code. The first part of the code presents the libraries that are required in order to run the code. First of all, the most important VM learn library, it's a specifically designed for Bayesian networks. Second, rgrabbit is an optional library that allows us to visualize the network and other libraries that allows us to pre-process like DP. The second part of the code presents us the data. We will upload a data file in this format, PSV, but of course there are many other ways to, or many other data types that we can uh, use in R. And here you can observe the different uh, files. And um, just for the audience to let you know, we will upload the data set um, into a depository that we will paste into the description of this video so that if you like, you can use this data set and use our code that we provide in the paper to just follow all of these, these codes one time using our data and then apply it on your own data if you like. Um, so I think we should maybe run the libraries and load the file. Um, just run it one, in one step. Mm -hmm. So basically with the code that we um, provide you with, you can just kind of mark the code and then click on run. And then automatically our studio is performing these lines of code. Now we've just loaded the libraries and loaded the file. Um, and I think with the file, it could be interesting to let the audience know um, what kind of data we have. It's data on constructs that we have generated from the PLS structural equation model on a technology acceptance model without going into much detail. We see here scores on these constructs that could be your survey questions, any kind of data um, that you would like to use. And now the interesting thing is that we uh, want to apply a machine learning algorithm to understand what is the relationship or the associations between the constructs. And uh, if you're coming from a PLS world, you're always used to modeling the relationships that you have conceptualized. And here the, the super nice feature is that the algorithm is actually producing the structure for us. Exactly. So what we see here are some continuous variables. Of course, the algorithm will work with categorical variable as well. So this is an example with continuous variable. 